Hello and welcome to Glorious Miniatures. My name is Jolyon and in today's video we're going to be building these. Yes, these. These are five Barbagorns. Not Barbagorns, Barbagorns. Apparently they are sort of uh, close range artillery or something like that. That's all I really know about them. So without further ado, there is my hand. There is a blade. These are the plastic bits we'll be using today. Got the instructions to my side. Got the glue. Still not finished that glue, but we will finish it eventually. And my gosh, that's going to be a good time. So as I said, the instructions here. We do have five of them to build, as you can see right there. As you can see right there, indeed. Yes, well done. Slightly slow there. Uh, yeah, so they only seem to have four or five pieces. Pretty much like the previous ones, we got the uh, like sort of two halves of the body. We got an extra leg, etc. So uh, probably four pieces in total. And uh, we're going to do build one kind of uh, well like this, and then we're going to build all the rest of the four uh, at a much faster speed while I burble on about something really intelligent and interesting. So yeah, we're just going to get those pieces off. Um, once we find, we're we missing a piece. Yes, for some reason, that leg is like it, not particularly near the normal bit. So uh, it's a bit of hunting. It's not too bad though. And I am going to clean up these sprues. Sorry, these sprues, these little bits of plastic. There are little bits that I need to clip off that I missed and whatnot, all that sort of jazz. That's pretty normal. I know some people quite happy just completely ignoring it unfortunately i'm slightly um i'm a bit fussy about it sometimes i'm quite happy to ignore it if i'm never going to see it but that's a big if so uh, i do spend a fair amount of time at least scraping it i don't break out the sanding uh, sticks etc unless something's basically really really uh, obvious when, once i start painting that uh, doesn't happen too often thankfully the leg and that am i going to start clipping some of the sort of pegs holding these parts together i can't remember i think i normally chop off like a couple of millimeters of the pegs just for my own sanity i still have nightmares of that first kit that i put together um a long time ago now and it just there was a massive gap as a result there we go we got our base we got uh i'm going to do a quick test fit as well yeah, I was really struggling uh, with this. I, for the life of me, I could not just, uh, I could not get it sort of lined up. So I'm just going to put some glue um, within these uh, holes right there. I'm going to run a little bit around the edge. And finally, that needle flies out from applying too much pressure like an absolute, uh, well, I don't know, like an absolute idiot, really. I did miss a little couple of bits and pieces so there we go oh yes there we go <laughs> that is a little bit i'm going to add a little bit more of this glue because it does help especially um when things need a little bit more a little bit more help to stick together like normally you could probably you can put all these kits together without glue if you really want to uh, but um i would never do that so we're going to put on its sort of artillery weapon it's got a couple of weird limbs which are sort of supporting it, uh, supporting the weapon, and then it's got like a weird, like, I don't know what the other weapon is. And I think there's a sort of symbiote, is that symbiote? Symbiote? Symbiote. Uh, some kind of some kind of thing attached to it, controlling its um, functions. Not very nice, but uh, yeah. So that, those are the two arms attached to it. That's where it's going to go. We're going to get some glue right in there. And there, just a little bit. I'm really just using excuses to finish this glue up. And there we go. I did, I think first time I did struggle a little bit with the sort of positioning of these. They were a bit strange. And as I said before, Pyranids are not my first love at all. Um, I don't really know my way around their kits too much. However, so I think that's about right. Yeah, that's the first one. We are going to move on. And actually, while you're moving on, you could check out my website at gloriousminiatures.com. It's still in its sort of first iteration. I am fully intending to overhaul it 
as soon as I possibly can. And also I'm going to populate the web store. Now the web store that I'm going to be running is going to be basically 3D printed things. I've got a couple of merchant tiers uh, for, well, ritual casting currently and also for Highland miniatures currently. Those are, um, basically will continue as long as I keep paying for the merchant tier over on Patreon. Uh, but I also have some lifetime tier, um, lifetime merchant licenses for a couple of other things that I've gotten via sort of uh, Kickstarter, etc. So we'll be adding those into my web store. Do check it out um, at some point, <laughs> and that will be a great thing. So eventually, I would like to have my own 3D printed stuff, uh, my own files that I do, um, and and also merch. Everyone likes merch. Once I can figure out what kind of design, we will uh, we'll get some kind of nonsense printed up and um, all that kind of jazz. So, as I said before, these are not getting glued into the bases. I'm just sort of squashing them in there uh, so that I can remove them later if I really need to. I have sort of come up with a, a vague plan for my bases. I'm going to have to do a test one on one of the termagants uh, this weekend just to make sure it's not a complete disaster. And then I'll probably show it on my Instagram at uh, instagram.com forward slash glorious miniatures. Okay, what a beautiful segue that was into a beautiful bit of advertising. Well, it's not really advertising. It's like, check out my social media. Very nice stuff, as always. Uh, I'm still Glorious Badger on over on Twitter and I don't know where else. Facebook, potentially. Patreon. <laughs> Weirdly, though, just to be confusing... Uh, on coffee or Ko-Fi or however you want to pronounce that. I'm Glorious Miniatures over there, so who knows? Um, okay, as you can see, we are de-seaming as quickly as we can. I have fast-forwarded this, and I'm adding the glue in there, getting these parts together, running some extra sort of um, extra thin glue in along the seams to make sure it's all nice and uh, sort of squidged together. Thankfully, if there are weird seams with Tyranids, you can just tell tell your opponent that yeah it's a tyranid it's got weird growths going on what are you going to do um and paint it as some weird colored flesh or something speaking of color schemes well or colors um i am going to attempt to do the sort of um seraphon star forged or starborn or whatever they're called that scheme very dark armor uh sort of chitin and very kind of um bluish fluorescent blue skin fleshy parts. I'm really hoping I can manage to pull that off. I am going to attempt to do all of this uh, well this, certainly the combat patrol side of the uh, Tyranids during the month of August. That is my plan. Whether or not I can actually make it happen is a different thing entirely. But I am going to do a test scheme for it this weekend on some of the Termagants and also a test base thing as well. So there is that. And then Hopefully, you will see also see the other videos for the buildings of the buildings of the uh, of the rest of the Tyranids. Sort of following relatively swiftly after this. As for the ultra ultramarines, as for the space marines side of things, I will be doing a build log of those. I will not, unfortunately, be painting those for a while because they are actually going to be populating my first company, my ultramarines. I have a second company of my ultramarines, but they're firstborn. And as they are sort of slowly getting phased out, um, I would like to make a, a relatively complete first company, which will be a great thing. But I will be doing I will be doing a build log for them, and I will certainly be doing a kind of uh, painting video of those particular ones as soon as I move into a new house. We have got some issues with the house we're looking at, and put a sort of um, an offer in whether or not the um, the latest issue is going to be too much of a problem and we're going to have to go back to square one. Well, we will have to see really on that. Uh, but we are plowing through these little plastic barbagons. This is, we got one, one left, I believe. Yeah, I think that was, uh, I think this was the very last one. Number five. It's going to clean those little seams up. Out of interest, I'd love to know if you're watching this, if you're painting Tyranids, what's uh, what's the favorite five fleet of yours? What sort of paint scheme do you enjoy to paint? I um, 
The only gene stealers or the only Tyranids I guess I've painted so far are the ones for Space Hulk. I've still not entirely finished all of them, but I just went with the classic Space Hulk theme for those, um, well, those classic Tyranid scheme, I guess, for those particular ones, so the blue and purple. Uh, been kind of looking forward to doing a different scheme though, frankly. Um, but I couldn't not do the classic scheme for Space Hulk. I would have uh, had to have severe words with myself afterwards otherwise. So here we go, this is almost finished uh, de-seaming and we're now going to glue this together. There we go, get that glue along some of the seams and into those holes. Get this all vaguely lined up, run that thin glue in there. Lovely stuff. Things you love to see, fantastic. Yeah, so um, that's all I've got to say, really. It's not a, it's not a huge amount. It's a pretty easy to kit to put together, not many parts. They do go together. This gun bit was, it did take a second to figure out the exact sort of orientation on how it sits on the body, but we got there in the end. And uh, there we go, easy peasy. These are all five of these barbagaunts. I'm looking forward to painting them up pretty soon. And if you would like to see that, you'd like to see that, um, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss those painting videos, which will happen hopefully sooner rather than later. And we've got a little bit of 4K footage right here, a little bit of a zoom in. Yep, nice kits. Yep, they should be pretty fun to paint. And that's all I got to say. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.